Hello and welcome to GPTV on Tuesday, the last day of April in the year 2019, Gary. <laughs> Welcome, Phil. That was a very, uh, very uh, unexciting uh, introduction. Actually. Well, I thought it was last incredible. Day. Last Is there 31 day? days in no, April? 30 yeah. days has September, April, June, and uh, November. Right. That's the way indeed. I always do it. But if you think about it, mm -hmm. a third of the year, Gary, just yeah. went like that. Gone, what Phil. What happened to it? Gone. It went fast. Is it getting yeah. faster or are we just getting older? Yeah, I think what? we're getting older, what, what's smelly, happening? crusty, you know, well, none irrelevant. Of that. None, oh, of that. none of that. None of that. No, no. But it's been the fastest start to the year. I was saying in the sales meeting yesterday, Gary, that for our sales team, yep. the financial year of 1819 is essentially closed because we're now listing for July, August, September. We are. Uh, indeed we are, Philip. Uh, that's a very, uh, very, very exciting opening there, Philip. We are in Central Command here. What do we call this place? Headquarters? No, or this head is the Project Marketing Division yeah. of Gary Peer and Associates, our new Residential yeah. Collections Division. Or well, we could call it, you know, Headquarters or Central Command well, or any of those sort of exciting of names. Well, technology happening yeah. out of here, Gary. And this is hey, the... maybe we can have some viewer feedback on a suggested name for this centre, you know, just for the GPT component of it. Phil. I Maybe don't believe can. anybody is interested in naming this office, Gary. So mm. moving forward, hey. this is the prelude, this way we're shooting it now with the screens in the background. This is the prelude to us shooting in front of a green screen, Gary. What's a green screen? I knew you'd have no <laughs> idea what a green screen is. Well, green screen, in racing, when they put out the green screen, they shoot it's not the horse. That's right. I, know, I know those green screens, they're not good. I've had one of those before. No, we've set this office yeah. up with a green screen, Gary, mm. and we are able then to drop this green screen behind behind us and the viewers will not know that the screen is green but right. it's green because we can then superimpose an image in the background okay. so essentially we'll be shooting in kind of a, a, a very much an interactive yep. 7.30 report sort of uh, way. It's like that Sky, when we did Sky News, yep. it looked so good on television you said it was like it's like a dumpy, no offence to Sky News, of course, because we'd love to be invited back. Never had got invited back, but um, but that was interesting. So, viewers, uh, we, 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 were, but we were both invited to speak on Sky News a couple of times. And, you know, when you watch Sky News, it's kind of this, you yeah, know, it's a great city screen skyline, and city yeah. skyline. The truth is they yeah. get you to come down to this crappy <laughs> office in South Bank. <laughs> it's dingy. Where, 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 where the, the like, there's a whole lot of people working at the desks yeah. next to you. And it's almost like you sit at a desk cubicle of yeah. almost broken furniture <laughs> and, and and they shoot you but then they superimpose through yeah. the green screen behind you like you could be at the opera house exactly right uh, but it's actually a very funny anyway, experience thanks for sky and that, that's the last gig we'll be getting there so thanks a lot for that they'll probably be doing a scoop on trying to expose us for something terrible hey we talked a few weeks ago phil about beef what's your beef mm -hmm. and you know we I have, have any viewer feedback uh, well i've had someone approach me Approach you? Uh, yeah, I've had, well, I've had two approaches, Philip. Uh, one of them was specifically about you. <laughs> I love springing this on him at these, these little shows. Is that unscripted uh, this is? Yeah, it is. So, news so, to me. So, so one and of our you guys... Know, you just look for that one person in a hundred, don't, don't you? You're, you're, like, a, come to you're me. like a magnet. 99 out of a hundred people think I'm the most lovely, no, charming, decent no, guy. But you always find the one. <laughs> they find, find me. You always find the look, one. The truth is, Phil, a hundred find me. I ain't talking about the one. But let, So this is what's happened. Uh, one of our guys out for lunch, yep. and he's here's at the next table at a Chinese restaurant, Glen Ferry Road. At someone, a Chinese restaurant. Someone talking about how where you park during auctions. Are you serious? In a Chinese restaurant in Glen Ferry Road. The they're topic saying, of conversation saying, is saying, not yeah, the dumplings. No, no. Or so the, he's sitting there, he's sitting there with his family eating, and he hears, oh, bloody Philip gets parked in the driveway or at the road. <laughs> so they got upset. So, and I've got to tell you, I got attacked at the St George's Road auction. Not for you, one of our guys, because one of our guys stopped and put a board out, yep. you know, like an open inspection. But he didn't sort of responsibly drive his car, which I've spoken to him about. Well, of course, this guy, who, who I know, he's a doctor. He's a very calm, yep. a very serious doctor. He let fly at me with expletives and rude words. He, really? He actually really? Lost, I thought he was going to have a heart attack. Phil, I was worried about his health. He actually went crazy. So some people's beef is about car you know parking what? and parking. I, I think the general public... They're too uh, angry on the, the roads, general public, they? sometimes including myself, because yeah. sometimes I am the general yeah. public, Gary. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not the general public no. right here, right now. But you this are, is a highbrow show. You're a member of the public. But, but when I am a member of the general public, yeah. the general public is on a... F they're, they're, they're like, everyone's a on a fuse, short, short fuse, fuse yeah. waiting to what explode. What is that about, Phil? I just think people should just chill on the roads in Melbourne. I mean, the government's doing everything they can to make it as slow as possible. There's about 30 zones now, so everybody's kind of crawling. 
it's going to end up being like Amsterdam without the canals. Everyone will be riding bikes soon. Do you know, um, speaking people of people need to chill out on the speaking roads. Speaking of don't worry. Speaking of driving and road yeah. rage, because yeah. this is essentially where you're going on this, well, is yeah. that parking I, rage? I, I'm parking now, rage. Everyone yeah. knows I'm not the best driver, oh. right? Oh, well, I've looked, and I everybody that. knows that when you, when you drive a Range Rover, he's from the country. Look, he's from the country, right? He'd be driving chew and straw. There'd be the cows flying off the fenders as you'd be driving through the, the it's, fields. It, it's, tr it's true that it's when true. you do grow up on a farm, yeah. the, the road what do you rules, look at? Road rules, no really, traffic lights. Road rules. Well, what's, the worst, what's the worst that happens? You yeah. drive over a cow. <laughs> you drive into a cow. Anyway, um, I changed my driving habits. I used yeah. to get upset with people on yeah. the road. You know, they'd cut you off, or or you'd stop to allow them in, and they'd yeah. just move in without without waving yeah, or right. acknowledging you. How about that? Is so, that's a beef too, isn't it? it you let people it's in, no and they longer a beef with me. Good. Since that Moran character, remember one of the Moran family, yeah. um, he was convicted for road rage where yeah. somebody cut him off yeah. and he chased them, yeah. got out of the car, took yeah. out a baseball bat and yeah. beat this person You don't, you don't cut off a Moran, that's, that's the key story here well, on TV TV this week, you don't I'm, cut off a Moran. I've, I've got to tell you Gary, you just don't know. Yeah what the person on the road yeah. is capable of. What they're on, So at the end of doing. the day, when I do something wrong, I now just, this is what I do. Yeah. I wave, yeah. I go like that, yeah, yeah. right? Which is beg yeah. begging forgiveness. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people and, would, would, as opposed would feel great about to, that. As opposed to, you know, yeah. you, you do that, you just go, I'm sorry. Yeah. And what about the Better people? Better to be safe and sorry. And how about this for a beef? What about the people that park in our car parks behind our office? So we've got an office and it says, do not park here, car will be towed, you know, the whole story, we, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a tow, whatever, we'll do everything. Yet people happily, they park, they just say, we're just here for a minute, yeah, just to go yeah, to the news agent, yeah, yeah. whatever. And so on I, the occasion, I get upset by that, yeah. and then they look at me as though, yeah. how, how dare, dare you I, get upset? Right? Yeah. I say, I say, how would you, what would you do yeah, if, if you I came home one night, <laughs> I mean, your and I was parked in your driveway, driveway yeah. and I just, and I just well, saunter in and go, oh, it's no big well, deal, I only parked here for an hour. Well, the reality is, Phil, that's what's happening. That's <laughs> what's happening. So, in your own way, you are actually getting back at all those people who park in our car park. All okay. right, can so we talk real estate, Gary? goes around the circle karma, karma. and you need to relax. Let's talk about anyway, the beef, parking beef. If you've got some parking beef or some driving beef you want to share with us, put a, the uh, address is there. Our so yeah, let's talk on the Really, I'm, I'm done with this. 71% clearance, Philip, against oh, an industry average there. of, what was it? 56%, uh, Put Gary. up towers. Well, we'll take 71%. That's not too bad, Phil. And of course, we had some competitive auctions, a, a number of auctions sold well in excess of our having, expectation having and that, range. Having said that, viewers, it's been very yeah. quiet the month of April. Yeah, is it quiet? Uh, even though we're actually up on April 2018. Terribly the good news quiet. is our, our, our results are up on 2018, yep. but it's been very quiet because if you think about April viewers, we have been had we had distraction after distraction. Yeah. We've had school holidays. Yes. We've had Passover. Passover. We've had Easter. Easter. We've had Anzac, Anzac Day. Day. Uh, so April was had a the real estate agent's nightmare. Carlton Hawthorne just got beaten. Wow, Carlton. what a game! What well, a game! Got to see a bit of that as well. I had a few yep. boys over. we were, you know pretty good disappointed but any, anyway Phil let's just talk about some of the sales on the weekend uh, because there were some really good ones uh, Ardock was a very good yes. one uh, Jeremy Rosen sold that one and that went uh, very very well sold for $829,000 and Gary what a great development that Ardock is yeah. we talked about that on See GPTV the auction TV. Footage where he's just yeah. sort of it's like he's being in the park isn't it it's like, it's, being it's, like it's like you know kind of an English um, yeah. an English development yeah. you know how in the country yeah, towns square, like they're it. all built around the common green yeah, no, the, the, common the, the, green. the commons they the village idiot the walking past at the background there uh, Philip Nawin, Nawin, Gnawin. Yeah, how do you pronounce it? Nawin, uh, Nawin. Yeah, Nawin. GN. GNO sold within the range. Philip seven hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. Well done to Graham Callan. He does a great job as an auctioneer, and of course he handles the sale. I don't know whether you noticed this, Gary, but while you were talking, yep. very subtly, yep. Nawin came up onto the screen behind is you. That right? This is the technology we're wow. now employing in GPTV. So this is why we had to split it into two parts. And we talked about Ardock Avenue, Philip. We talked about Ardock Avenue as yeah, well. No, no, mm. Ardock Avenue. Oh. There it is. Is that right? Uh, there it is, Philip, up on the screen. Uh, now let's talk about Sunday's auctions, Philip, because both of those properties sold for more than the range. Gary, buying opportunity in Lansdowne Road. Yeah, we didn't sell. We passed in at an yep. auction, which is a bit of a surprise. Yep. Still available. So yep. um, the and asking price there, there now is six hundred and fifty thousand dollars. It is Phil, six fifty thousand. And uh, Mervyn in uh, Bentley East, we did have an offer on that, Philip. Yep. What uh, a that beautiful we, you know, home. That wasn't too far off the mark, but that will get sold. Four uh, bedrooms, no three bathrooms, Gary. Stunning Quality building. Yep. Quality building, Phil. Now let's get down to Sunday, Phil, because we did have a very competitive auction in Rose Hill Avenue. Well, of course, Rose Hill is a place I know, Will, Philip, because it's a race course in Sydney. But it is. Uh, this is a different Rose Hill Avenue. This is Rose Hill Avenue. We had a very happy vendor. Uh, in fact, we might. Can we get a little bit of footage of that vendor? I think just we saying, can. Let's do that.
Hi Judy, how was your experience today? Really good. Gary Peer really looked after everyone, I think, on both sides. He was, did a fantastic job and Philip was a great auctioneer. Fantastic. Muzzle Tov and congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, there you go. Happy vendor, Philip. Uh, now that was a competitive auction. Many bidders there, Philip. What we was had there, four five, or five bidders? people yeah. bidding on that. Five bidders going. there, sold in excess of the range uh, out of respect for the buyer. We won't say the Let's price. Let's just talk about five people bidding at an auction, yeah. Gary, Let's because the general marketplace is still obviously the, the publicity in the newspapers and subdued, online they're is, saying, is everything subdued yeah. but our, our, when you get five people bidding at an yeah. auction at a property between one and a half and two million dollars that yeah. is not the sign of a subdued market no. uh, again viewers There's we reckon happening. the equilibrium has been found we think buyers and sellers are now matching and that's uh, what you get five people it bidding. Is indeed Philip uh, Carinia Crescent is where we finished off our very brief and short Sunday well done to Joel Sue Jeremy Rosens who did a fine job uh, auctioning that both one. of us arrived uh, there we did. Goes to show how quiet we are. That know, we went to see one quiet. of our other auctioneers. We had the space, but he did a wonderful job, as did Joel Sir and Saul Burston uh, selling that property. But a great property. We sold that yeah. to some local investors. We did. Uh, and, from our that, database. and that was about as good an apartment with its courtyard garden as it gets. Indeed. Uh, that was a wrap for the weekend. A quietish weekend, Philip, this time of year. Not also a surprise. Although, you know, it's amazing. You speak to some agents. I spoke to a mate of mine, an agent recently, Philip, uh, and he said that his volume is down something between 60 and 70%. Which is phenomenal. Uh, that's an amazing drop in volume, isn't yep. it? So what does that mean for a buyer and a seller? Well, Gary, I, I think we're talking a lot about the yep. equilibrium where buyers and sellers are now coming together, but one of the biggest problems in the marketplace is the lack of stock. And if which, you're a buyer if and you, you say, well, I'm going to wait, well, you so might wait. The auction cap, get that, well, that's the market catch 22, isn't, isn't it? it? Because yeah. the new buyers, new sellers won't come to the market if they're buy, if they're also going to be buying because yeah. they say, well, we won't be able to find something. Yeah. So uh, these things do change fairly quickly. Yeah. But if you're a seller at the moment, you've never had a better opportunity in the last 12 months to actually have competitive bidding. Well, we've seen that, haven't we? You know, notwithstanding the clearance rates across Melbourne, we've seen in our auctions and uh, the way we're doing it, we're getting some really good clearance. Also, support. you need to think about yeah. this. If you come to the market selling in June, July or August. Yes. Well, some people say it's too cold, we're not selling Well, that. we can deal with that in a moment, but you do set yourself up if you sell through that period yep. to be a buyer in September, October, November, That's first true. couple of weeks in December. And we do know even in the quiet market, that is the busiest it season. Is. There's traditionally more offerings around that time, isn't it? So there? do you want to deal with this, buy or sell in winter? Well, you know, again, I mean, I remember selling our family home where I lived. We sold it on 1st of August. Yep. Um, it was raining. Yes, you we did held the auction, auction inside, inside, got you a record yeah. price. You did, I And must just say. for the record, yeah. yet again, I will remind you yeah. that you <laughs> gave me nothing. nothing. No, that's not true. I patted you on the back on the way out and I said you were wonderful. Not, not, a, box a, of, compliment. not a box of chocolates yeah. that I'd half paid a for. Box, nothing. A box nothing. of chocolates comes and goes, Philip. Compliments last with you forever. That good sentiment comes uh, last forever. Uh, that was a good job. But I did the 1st of August. Yep. And in fact, I sold uh, my late you know, family home, my mum's family home. We also do that in winter. So I don't yes. mind selling winter, Philip. Yep. Uh, so, I think it's so okay. The theory the theory here is demand and supply. Yep. Uh, we have a constant demand pretty much across the year. If you think yep. away about why a buyer buys, they don't wake up and go, it's too cold, let's no, not buy, they or, buy or it's their lovely needs, and warm. They buy for they, their needs. They match their needs. Yep. And if you think about it, needs are pretty constant. The only month that is really quiet, and, and it and it's, falls across two months, is from the 15th of, of really about the, no, about the third weekend on in December yeah. through to about oh. the last weekend in, in January. January. Well, those business. are quiet times. Well, everyone's away. No, it's interesting. But other than yeah. that, Although demand, is pretty, yeah. demand yeah. is pretty constant across the other 10 months of the year. It, it so, is, Phil. Uh, in June, July, August, supply is at its lowest, but demand is constant. Therefore, yeah. you get better buyer inquiry per property through the winter and months. And sometimes there's an argument for actually getting a premium then rather than spring, Philip. There the is an only time I think you should ever sell a home in spring, Gary, yep. is if your garden is such an incredible setting. Yes. Uh, and and if difference. you think about the ten reasons why somebody might buy if the garden was the number one reason, then okay, yep. you'll sell in spring because you're going to sell when your unique selling proposition, which is your garden, is at its best. Uh, Phil, we've got some good properties coming up. Uh, the volume is down, but we've got some nice ones. We'll review those for yes. our Thursday show. Uh, but that's a little bit of a big wrap on GPT. We're trying to keep it a bit briefer here. But we, uh, I just want to say before we go, we did shoot at Park Lane a few weeks. Yes. By the way, talking about, I played Monopoly with the kids on Saturday night. Um, uh, my wife's Gee. always said, it's not fair. Fun, it's fun not, at the piers it's, on it's, a Saturday night. It's not night. really fair to play Monopoly. I think, do you reckon we should do a Caulfield Monopoly board? I reckon well, it'd be th cool, there are yeah. those. Uh, uh, apparently we can buy yeah. them from Monopoly and I brand them what do you Gary Pier. Well, I might some viewer feedback on that. You can, uh, do you, you want a things, Gary yeah. Pier City yeah. of Glen Ira Monopoly game? Yeah. Uh, uh, firstly, would you buy it from 
would you buy it from us and allow us to make a profit yeah. in these rather lean times? <laughs> or failing that, would yeah. you buy it at cost? And failing that, if we gave it to yeah. you, would you be happy? And how are we going to go with the old Kent Road and Whitechapel, well, the cheapest properties in the, you know, the, on the board? Well, that's how are you going to go with that? Correct. I mean, we're going to get a lot of trouble. If you think about that, yeah. anybody <laughs> living in that street, <laughs> are they going to be yeah. pleasantly surprised that yeah. they were on the board, or are they, they going to be, be upset disappointed that they're lower price properties? Humiliated. I think we're going to get in trouble with it. Maybe we'll stay away. But anyway, I did clean up the kids in that, but taught them a lesson in how to negotiate. How, which I think how good is it having a lovely family game, but being able to crush your children at the same time? Well, you know, I, I see it as educating them in negotiations because, you know, I made a deal and then I built hotels and, I, you know, I felt pretty good at that and time. And made your all. children pay rent? <laughs> I did. Make them, well, I and then sent them to jail. And then I liquidated them and sent them to jail. Uh, that's what happens when you're a good family man. Anyway, look, that's a big wrap on GVTV for this end of April edition. It's good to be back with you in the headquarters, the centre, the nerve centre, Philip, uh, on GPTV. We'll look forward to bringing you the review on this Thursday. I'm Gary Pearce. I'm Philip Kingston. Have a great week.